What's going on everyone? It's Rich Lux. In today's video, girl, we're going to be talking about Travis Scott again. Travis Scott is in hiding, running the house. We have all the receipts, the newest information. You can watch those other channels out there. But keep it locked in here for the hottest Travis Scott drama, around the clock, 24-hour news, as it happens, girl. Now, some of the haters were saying that I was filming in an outhouse or something. No, girl. I'm in the closet. Okay, with literally a $10,000 Birkin right here. So no, I'm not in some backyard outhouse, girl. I'm in a luxury closet, so get over it, girl, whatever. All right, so let's talk because I feel like we need to talk. So pictures have now surfaced. Let me go ahead and get this angle, girl. I can look snatch the house. Pictures have now surfaced of Travis Boom Boom Scott, girl, leaving his house, which I don't even understand to me. Guys, you guys, hear me out on this one, right? What is he doing? Like, first of all, this is the blanket he's wearing, an Hermes blanket, was around $750 to around $1,000, depending on what size or if it's vintage. But like, let's just say, $700 to a $1,000 blanket wrapped around his body, the hands, because he's just so cold and disheveled from the drama. People are saying that Travis Scott has had a nervous breakdown. He haven't left his, left his house in days. And I'm like, girl, hold on. This is typical, like, PR. This is typical, like, Hollywood life. You go through a little scandal. You take a picture of you with the blanket. Like, girl, tell me that's not some Kardashian PR move the house to gain sympathy from the subscribers or the viewers or his fans for get people to feel sorry for him, girl. I am not, girl, hold on. I got this at Target, girl. Uh, hold on. I'm not feeling sorry for Travis Scott. I'm not feeling sorry for Travis Scott. Travis Scott busted the house. Travis Scott busted the house. I'm just saying. Reporting live, primero impacto en vivo, okay? But I just want to say, like, that looks staged, girl. What is he doing? Is he going to go check the mail? Doesn't he have assistance for that? Like, get something from his Range Rover. Like, girl, what is going on? That was like, you know, you know damn well, Chris Jenner was like, Travis, yes, listen, I know you haven't been checking the news right now, but, and, and, and don't get on it. Because can you imagine Travis Scott can't even get on his Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube without seeing Travis Scott drama videos, girl. I know he watched my videos. I have receipts that Travis Scott has watched my videos. So leave your comment down below because he might read your comment, girl. And leave a like while you're at it and subscribe and share with a friend. So you know Chris Jenner's like, Travis, yes, girl. Um, so here's what we're gonna do. I have, I've hired photographers. Um, go ahead and just go check the mail. I know we've had the assistants check it, but just go, you check it yourself. There's gonna be nothing in there. Go check it. We're going to take a picture from the back side. And, um, yeah, and then we, people were going to gain sympathy from the people. I love you so much. Bye, ciao. I want my 10%. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, first of all, when I check, if, if this is my house, right, the door, and I'm walking to check my mailbox right there, how is that picture coming from the back side? Like, this doesn't make any sense to me. That's just my opinion all day long. That's some demon energy, girl. Okay. And above all else, at the time of making this video, over 46 lawsuits allegedly have been filed. I think Travis Scott, let me die my lash, is literally financially ruined. I was thinking that. I was thinking Travis Scott financially ruined. Travis Scott, how will he come back from this now? And I was thinking, oh, wait a minute. I'm not going to feel sorry for Travis Scott, girl. Girl, his baby mama, what, two kids now? Kylie Jenner. Kardashian family. I think Kylie's the richest one of them all, if you ask me. Next to the mom, love her so much. Girl, you know she gonna write a check. How many lawsuits today, darling? Here you go, love you so much. Girl, he is fine. He, out because I was, I was feeling bad. I was like, oh my gosh, like, I have some remorse for him. Like, this is, this can ruin him financially, right? And then, oh, the, girl, there's some videos that have been popping up about some guy, I think it was on TikTok or YouTube, saying that he helped Travis Scott in the beginning and helped build all this, like, um, you know, buzz around his name that was all fake bots and fake likes and stuff like that. Look, I got more receipts coming in right now. See, see I do not like Travis Scott and what he's been doing. And See, you see, y'all guys, your comments are just coming in all day long. But guys, like, 
I can sit up here and I can talk about Travis Scott and Harry the Moon. Okay, the fact of the matter is, he may be canceled temporarily right now, but he'll bounce back. I mean, look at look at countless other YouTubers that y'all done canceled and celebrity y'all canceled, and they're back. James Charles, James Charles, James Charles over there made a YouTube video, admitted himself to talking to underage guys, still making videos. He's not canceled the house. You know what I'm saying? Like, guys, come on now. Like, seriously, if anything right now, this will leave a blemish, a beauty mark on Travis Scott's name. Whether demon-possessed and all that stuff and sacrifices at a concert, this is just a little blemish beauty mark on Travis Scott's career, girl. The Kardashian and Jenner family will write a check. He'll be fine. He'll be fine. But the truth of the matter is, if you take nothing away from this video other than my good looks and beauty, and uh, follow me on Instagram, love you so much. If you take nothing away from this video, take this, guys. Words from a wise man. Words from Steve Jobs himself. He said, people vote with their wallets. Okay, let that, pe you guys, you watching, you, and I know you may, you may not think that, well, it's just me, I don't matter. Girl, collectively, y'all are a force to be reckoned with. Collectively, you vote with your wallets. If you like something, you will buy it, okay? All this information came out about Travis Scott, whether you believe it or not, form your own opinion about it. When he comes back with his next album, with his next single, with his next Nike collab, with his next Dior, we're gonna talk about that man too, exclusive merch, with his next movie, music video, whatever it is, whatever Travis Scott does, McDonald's meal part two, whatever it is, will you guys buy it? Will you guys support it? Because that's ultimately the end goal. You know, if you really wanna hurt somebody, you don't, you don't go on there and leave a negative comment, hate you so much, this busted the house music, Travis Scott is canceled. Girl, girl, if you really want to hurt someone, work the pockets, girl. The pockets, okay? And I'm not saying to do that. I'm just saying you make your own, um, you make your own opinion about all that all day long. You know what I'm saying? My opinion, my conspiracy, allegedly. But if you are going to continue to support Travis Scott and his pattern of behavior, allegedly, then go ahead, buy his music, buy his merch, keep. Keep him rich, girl. But if you decide not to, then the brands, the sponsors, the, the numbers, the record sales, it all just decline and people have spoken. But I'm sorry, in this day and age, that just doesn't happen. Controversy sales. The drama sales. And Travis Scott, in my opinion, will continue, because you can't have an opinion on the internet, girl. I've made like, I've made about six or seven Travis Scott videos, girl. Okay. I'm just trying to say it. In my opinion, as sad as it is, and you know I speak the truth, girl. I've been doing drama videos for the last 10 years of my life. Ask me tomorrow, I'll tell you about 20 years of my life. Every time you ask me, it just gets longer and longer, girl. But I just want to say this, girl. This this will not ruin him. He will be fine. He has diehard fans. He, he has a few diehards. He has a few diehards. They're, they're still out there. You know, but regardless, he he's going to be fine. He's just... He's just, in my opinion, the picture of him all hiding and all disheveled is just for views and clicks. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he feels sad about it, you know, but his apology did him no favors. He hasn't said anything about it, you know. I think I think his way of speaking to the people he's hurt is just write him a check, you know, NDA, don't say anything about it. Half the people already done spoke, went on the news. Okay, you want a check, but you up on the news talking about it. It's, it's sad, and the, I feel sad for the victims and the people who survived the Travis Scott travesty. I'll, I'll say why. Because imagine you going through such a horrific, terrible experience like the Travis Scott concert, allegedly. Okay, let's say you went through that, and you're trying to get over it. You're trying. You can't get on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, for those of you who still have it, YouTube, Pinterest, Christian Mingles, wherever. You can't get on any of those websites because all it is is the Travis Scott travesty news. 
So it's like, it's, it's hard for you as a person who went through that to grieve and get over it if you're constantly reminded. It's all over the news, girl. It's 24-7 Travis Scott drama watch. And like I said before, I don't even consider it drama because it's just, it's people's lives. The, yeah, the damn man, but you know what I'm saying? Or am I right? If I'm wrong, let me know in the comments down below because y'all surely do. Y'all sure love to leave little negative comments and dislikes. You want to come for me in the house? Miranda Pillsbury in uh, Oregon. Y'all just want to come for me and send me death threats and emails. But listen, to me, Travis Scott and his music, a lot of y'all people who've come across this channel didn't even know who the hell or what the hell. Do you know how hard it is for me? Okay, do you know how hard it is for me to tell like my mom what the hell Travis Scott is? What the hell James Charles is? What the hell Jeffree Star is? These people, they don't know anything about the people I talk about. That's why I love you, because we know. We're y'all my people. We know. And look, I bad I've made I have made videos dragging Travis Scott through the mud, girl. Go watch those if you haven't already. Conspiracy theories and awe. Okay. But now let's bring it back down to earth. You know, we tend to sensationalize the titles over here, you know, for views and clicks. As you know, as a YouTuber, I've never met a YouTuber who says, Oh, I don't want my video to get views. No, I want my views. I make videos. I want them to get views of the house. But the Travis Scott stuff, bringing it back down to earth, just a couple notches, and watching other things that have happened with uh, YouTubers and celebrities who've done much worse, get get away with scathe, scathe without a scathing, just, you know, has the window of opportunity closed for Travis Scott, for him to redeem himself? You know, I feel this. There's that one clip, that one, that bottom of the barrel clip with grainy footage of Travis Scott saying, is this person okay? There's that one clip. That right there is enough for some people to give Travis Scott redeeming quality. And I will say this. If you look at villains, the Joker, the Evil Witch, Ursula from Little Mermaid. You name, you name a Disney villain. You name, I don't know, any any villain in a comic book. People love the villain, especially in those series. Girl, the Joker. People love the Joker. I always use him as an example, because no matter how bad he was, people saw a redeeming quality in, in even if it's just an inkling. As long as a villain has an inkling of a redeeming quality, there will be people who root for the villain. And Travis Scott, he has a redeeming quality. Now we're gonna combat it with some other footage from like what, a couple years ago where he's telling people, uh, he stopped the whole entire concert. Let us not forget. Let us not forget that Travis Scott stopped the whole entire concert because someone took his shoe and fell off and he was like, crowd surfing they took his shoe he stopped the whole concert and told him attack attack let us not forget that he told somebody to jump off the balcony he said do it they'll catch you that person broke their legs allegedly you know what i'm trying it's just like there's the pros and the cons and people are looking back people are digging into Tra travis scott's past and when these people keep digging, they're going to hit blood evidently, girl. These people are going to keep digging and digging, and they have found every single thing that Travis Scott has said and done on stage. Every single time he was rude to a person. All these people are coming forward. Well, let me tell you about that one time five years ago, Travis Scott didn't tip me. And I was his limo driver. There's just stuff like that. I'm not, I'm not trying. I know, guys, I'm not trying to make fun. It's a very serious topic. But this is how I cope with things, okay? It's, it's not looking good for Travis Scott. In my opinion, he will bounce back, but it's going to take some time. It's going to take a lot of money. It's going to take a lot of PR strategy. It's going to take some it's going to take some great calculated chess moves for him and who and is it will take some time. Let's see who's going to continue to work with him now. There were people, there are artists who will still work with Travis Scott no matter what the drama is because they want the clout. They do anything for clout. 
Leave your comments down below. I will be reading them, girl. Ah, oh, mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the most dramatic of them all? Let me know what you think about all that drama. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, love you so much.